Right now, why an education policy expert is sounding the alarm over the so-called parental bill of rights. What are the chances it becomes law? Plus, how much you can expect to pay for Girl Scout cookies this year as troops across the country up their prices due to inflation. And it's another morning with some uh, fog. Some of it's been fairly thick this morning. We'll see how long this will last. And also these temperatures that'll be getting really mild. We'll have more coming out. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday to you. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Shane Hogan. And I'm Leah Lynchine. Thanks for waking up with us. I think this camera behind us is, yeah, supposed to be you the state capital. You can see it creeping just over your shoulder there. Right here. There it is. Oof, that is ominous. Some thick fog out there, folks, might impact your commute. Kelly Slifka is keeping an eye on, on it for us. Good morning, Kelly. Yeah, good morning, guys. Actually, that uh, shot of the uh, can, uh, the Capitol is actually better than what it was an hour ago because uh, the fog's been blowing around a little bit this morning. We've had a little bit of a southerly wind, but we still have some thick fog in some spots, so that'll be the case. You may run into some dense fog, and then you go a mile down the road, not too much of an issue. So just be aware of that throughout the morning hours. A uh, quarter mile visibility in Juneau, not too bad in Watertown at three. We're at a mile and three quarters at the airport in Madison, but down to a half in Janesville and a quarter of a mile right now in Monroe and also Mineral Point, a half of a mile in Platteville. So basically south and east of the Wisconsin River Valley, we do have this moisture that's trapped in place, and that's what's creating some of this fog. That's why we have the dense fog advisory in effect until 10 o'clock this morning. But it looks like still mild today, mid 40s, even with the cloudy skies expected this afternoon. 50s potentially tomorrow, but that's going to come in with some winds out of the south out ahead of a storm system and also some scattered rain showers expected already by tomorrow morning. So a mostly cloudy sky, the fog will lift to some low clouds, probably not going to break up the uh, clouds for the afternoon, but still mild in the uh, mid 40s. Gotta remember our average highs uh, closer to 30 this time of the year. 30 right now with the winds out of the south at five miles per hour with the fog currently in Madison. That'll lift to some low clouds throughout the morning hours as temperatures get up close to 40 by the noon hour. We'll track those rain showers and see how much we can expect coming up in about 15 minutes. Okay, Kelly, thank you very much. This morning, you can hear from the three finalists for superintendent for Madison schools as they take questions from students and parents. Last night, the finalists met with members of the Madison community. Dr. Joe Gothard, Dr. Yvonne Stokes, and Mohammed Chaudhry each shared why they believe they're best suited for the top job. Both Gothard and Stokes served as superintendents at previous schools, and Chaudhry served as the state superintendent of Maryland. You can watch the interview panels online on the district's YouTube channel. MMSD says recordings and captions for those interviews should be up sometime today. The district's asking for your feedback on these candidates by this Friday. To fill out a feedback form, you can head over to madison.k12.wi.us. A Republican bill headed to the Wisconsin Senate could have major implications for your child's learning environment. Dubbed the Parental Bill of Rights, Senate Bill 489 would let parents opt their child out of teachings on, quote, controversial subjects. The bill defines those subjects as anything having to do with racism, gender identity, and sexuality. Now we're hearing from education policy experts on why they think the bill should concern you. Any time that we deem the stories of people of color, and queer people as explicit or not fit for children to consume, we further exclude them from society. And that's where the danger comes in. Republicans say the bill supports parents who feel schools are ignoring their concerns about their parents. One parent tells News 3 Now the bill is hyper-political and unnecessary. Governor Evers has vetoed similar legislation the last time it crossed his desk. If this bill passes the Senate, he will likely do so again. A new bill could give more children in Wisconsin access to books. It would require the Department of Children and Families to make a grant program providing free books to children five and under. The DCF would be able to give no more than $10,000 to nonprofits to reimburse half the cost of the books. Those organizations would be giving out the free books in partnership with a national reading program. An assembly committee will consider this bill in an executive session at the Capitol today. Right now, it has bipartisan support. We'll continue to keep you updated on this piece of legislation as it makes its way through the Capitol. You can stay on top with that and much more over on the Channel 3000 mobile app. It is 6.04 now. While inflation has caused many Girl Scout troops across the nation to raise their cookie prices to six bucks this year, local Girl Scouts are still selling theirs at five. This morning, we're breaking down exactly where those dollars go. Our Arman Rahman reports. 
Yeah, cookie season is the most wonderful time of the year, but have you ever wondered where the money goes when you buy those cookies from your local Girl Scouts? I'm happy to tell you that 100% of those dollars stay local. The Badgerland Council says it sold over a million boxes last year. It's been planning since then to keep the price at $5. We are not raising our price this year. We are very excited to be able to keep that dollar as low as we can and uh, we want to make it affordable and accessible for everybody. The way the $5 cookie crumbles is that roughly $1.45 of each box goes to vendor fees. Then $1.32 goes towards the rewards the troop and individual scouts get, which include prizes from knickknacks to trips to Milwaukee, Detroit, and more. This year we're trying to go to an overnight at Great Wolf Lodge. Which won't be hard for Girl Scout Brownie Frances Schultz. Last year, she sold... 2020 something. The bigger prize are the skills the girls can learn. They're really learning how to design their own business and their own strategies for marketing. My goal is 3,400 boxes. I put a lot of time into cookie sale and after school I have booths on the weekends. The Badgerland Council says about $1.27 of each box goes to local summer camp properties and 96 cents go to Girl Scout programming. And for many girls, service is the biggest reward of all. Making birthday boxes for people that don't have like the right supplies to make birthday cakes. We put like birthday cake batter and frosting in them because I like to help people and stuff. Girl Scout cookies like this will soon be available by March 2nd, and they say they are still accepting new troop members. In Madison, Armand Rahman, News 3 Now. Okay, just marking down March 2nd on my calendar there for Better some Girl it. Scout cookies. What's your favorite? Uh, you know I love the Samoas, okay. or the Caramel Delights, however you call them, right? and the Thin Mints. Thin mints in the freezer, take them out yes. nice and cold. Oh, man, I don't think there's a better treat than that. If you're looking for, like, a postpartum gift for me, feel free. Oh, noted. <laughs> March Noted. 2nd. We like that. Hey, you can get your cookies through April 7th in person at Booth's and online from specific Girl Scouts. Some even take Venmo. Yeah, that's good to know. At 6.06, here's your reminder. News 3 Now is proudly partnering with Vortex to raise awareness about veterans doing good in our community. Help us honor with a $5,000 prize. All you have to do is head to this story over on channel3000.com and tell us in 1,000 words or less why the veteran you're nominating deserves to win. We'll announce the winner right here on News 3 now this morning. We've got a couple dozen in there so far. We would love to hear from you. Make sure you log on, channel3000.com. All right, another morning with some uh, thick fog in some areas here in southern Wisconsin. The mild temperatures continue. Could be getting close to some records tomorrow. We'll have the first morning forecast just ahead. And ahead in your morning sports, Sun Prairie East and West face off. Whether the Wolves or the Cardinals went home winners last night. Plus, we're live in the 608 this morning with what's new for this year's UW Winter Carnival and what changes you'll expect with the weather here at the Union. We'll be right back. You're watching News 3 Now This Morning, brought to you by Toyota. Dear all-wheel drive, let's show the road what we've got. Snowy streets, we're coming for you. Icy grip, we're holding tight. Wintry mix, meh. Safety's the name of our game. Yours, Toyota all-wheel drive sedans. Right now, get 3.99% APR for 60 months on a stylish new 2024 Camry. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. It's a robotic money expert. Clever. How do I start a savings habit? Famous cabbage. Savings habit. Shaving rabbits. Tech can make life simpler, but when it comes to savings habits, nothing's as simple as BMO. A BMO savings account helps you build the habit with a cash reward every month you save. Cash reward? Ingenious. Sardine Fest. This year's top prize goes to BMO. I'm just in it for the saving, but it's nice to be recognized. BMO. Gushes happen. Say goodbye gush fears thanks to Always Ultra Thins with rapid dry technology that absorbs two times faster. Hello, clean and comfortable. Always fear no gush. 
Jordan's sore nose let out a fiery sneeze, so Dad grabbed Puffs Plus Lotion to soothe her with ease. Puffs Plus Lotion is gentle on sensitive skin and locks in moisture to provide soothing relief. A nose in need deserves Puffs indeed. America's number one lotion tissue. To everyone who believes in tradition, come enjoy a few of ours from Wisconsin. People in Wisconsin love a good fish fry. Really love. And we love sharing it with guests everywhere. At Culver's, we still batter our North Atlantic cod by hand to order. And we cook it to a crispy, golden perfection just for you. For you. For you. So it's crispy outside, flaky inside. Let us take care of you. With some homegrown traditions we were raised on. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. Now at Menards, score big savings on everything before the big game. Check out our great selection of quality appliances. We offer the lowest prices with the largest in-stock appliance selection. Ready to take home today. Get this Criterion Upright Freezer for just $598. We're your one-stop shop before the big game. Stock up on Brewpub Lots and Lots of Pizzas. Loaded with award-winning Wisconsin mozzarella cheese and high-quality toppings. Right now, get two for $11. Save big money at Menards. News 3 is seeking top sales talent to join our media sales team. We're not just hiring, we're building careers. Apply at channel3000.com. Unlock your earning potential and be a part of something big. Watching News 3 now this morning. Welcome back. Ten minutes after six, we are in the 608 this morning, looking into the UW Winter Carnival happening this week. Yeah, our Josh Spryder is live in Madison with a look at this year's events. Hey, Josh. Hey, good morning, guys. We're live right here at the Union this morning, one of my favorite places no matter the season. And, of course, we're talking about another winter staple here in Wisconsin. But it hasn't been feeling a lot like winter, so we're checking in to see exactly how this week is going to shape up as far as those events go. Kira Overt is with the Union. She joins us live this morning. Kira, good to see you. How's it going? Good to see you. I'm doing good. Good, how are you? good. Hey, it's a big week yeah. for you guys. You know, we're talking about the Winter Carnival, and it's full steam ahead. There might be a few changes this year that people we're gonna know because of all this mild weather though. Yeah, you know, it's a little bit warmer than I think we all expected to be second week of February, but some of the events are staying the same. We're pivoting a few, and I'm excited for some of the new changes. So what can people expect this week here for the Winter Carnival? Well, Friday and Saturday, the head of Lady Liberty will be returning, but to no one's surprise, she will not be on the ice. She's actually going to be on the lawn in front of Memorial Union on Library Mall this Friday and Saturday. So it might be a little yeah. bit more accessible for yeah. some people, right? Yeah, you can come, get your picture, and then walk right into the Union and get, depending on how you're feeling, either mac and cheese on Saturday or it's going to be nice and warm, maybe even some ice cream. You, you know? know, it's almost like a spring <laughs> carnival, yeah, exactly. we could call it this right. year. You know, you guys are always trying to come up with new ideas, and with the weather, you guys are actually thinking maybe more people will come out because it's going to be so mild. Yeah, we're, th we're thinking so. It's going to be, you know, warm and sunny that if you want to do something inside, you can do that. On Saturday, there's also going to be new um, yard games out on the terrace and even curling, so there's going to be options for everyone. So this Winter Carnival has become such a staple for the university. Yeah. You know, the impact is not only great in the, uh, the students, but also the surrounding residents. Yeah, I mean, it's been going on for 80 years now, and they make sure to plan events for all ages, and there's really no matter what time you come this weekend, there'll be something for you to enjoy. So if people are interested, what's the best way for them to check out kind of the schedule of events? If you go to union.wis.edu slash winter carnival, there is a list of all the updated events that will be happening all um, weekend long. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, Kara, thank you so much for your yeah, time this you. morning. It's going to be a fun week. Yeah, thanks. I'm excited. If you'd like to learn more, I've also posted that link on channel3000.com. Plenty of events to come over the next few days here guys with that wild mild weather you know this might be an opportunity for some of those folks that maybe don't like the cold so much to come out and try something new yeah i mean still something you know still something fun to do yeah. get outside maybe get some fresh air we've been cooped up a little bit all That's right true a lot of good stuff there josh thank you Remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. You can reach out to him on social media. There's his handle. Or you can shoot him an email for a chance to be featured. All right, it is 613 on your Wednesday. Kelly Slifkis here with your first warm weather. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, good morning, guys. Another morning with some uh, fog, although I have noticed it improving now over the last hour and a half or so, at least in Madison. We've had a little bit of a wind might be dispersing some of this fog, but just be on the lookout for that this morning. Once you get rid of the uh, fog, we are expecting above average temperatures to continue, but what else is new? You go back to the last 
well, over 14 days over the last two weeks now. When we got out of the deep freeze, we've been generally well above average. Uh, one of our cooler day was cooler days was on Monday when we got we only got up to 34. But yet remember our average high is still in the upper 20s. So unseasonably mild weather it will continue. Now we've been hindered by some of this fog that we've uh, been dealing with each and every morning trap near the surface and take some time to uh, burn off that fog this time of the year because the sun is not real strong yet. But noticing you can kind of pick out the capital, I guess, or at least some of the buildings underneath. Before, an hour, hour and a half ago, you couldn't. So our visibilities have come up a little bit, a mile and three quarters. However, you may go down the road, maybe a mile or two, and see that fog thicken up fairly quickly. So just allow a little extra time and definitely allow plenty of space between you and the person in front of you driving around this morning. The thickest fog right now is down toward Monroe, down to a quarter of a mile, but also up in Juneau in Dodge County's uh, quarter mile visibility. So basically east and southeast of the uh, Wisconsin River, we do have the uh, dense fog advisory in effect until 10 o'clock this morning. Gets better northwest of the Dells. Mild temperatures will be in the mid 40s today, talking about some 50s expected tomorrow, but that's going to come uh, at a cost with some wind coming in out of the south out ahead of the storm system and also some scattered rain showers. By all means, not an all day rain, but may actually encounter a brief heavier downpour tomorrow afternoon. Could you actually see a thunderstorm develop? Then it will be turning cooler this weekend and all of next week. As far as rainfall, what we can expect tomorrow, not a whole lot, generally about a tenth of an inch or less, but some isolated totals with a heavier shower moving through could be picking up a quarter. So we're still under this ridge of high pressure, but the storm system that's taking shape out west is the system that's going to move through. However, it doesn't have a whole lot of really cold air to tap with, and we're going to be on the warm side of it. So mainly just some rain, and then we get some drier air working in on the back side of it. It will turn cooler this weekend, but still above average is that bulk of the coldest of air up to the north. Meantime, today, cloudy skies will persist throughout the day, but will not prevent us from headed into the mid-40s for most of us. Tomorrow morning, we're going to watch one band of showers move through during the morning hours, may get a break during the afternoon, another round coming in during the evening hours, and that's that last hurrah that should end by midnight we'll actually see some drier air work in and eventually some cooler weather working in by the weekend 29 in watertown jaysville 32 32 in platteville and also lone rock across dane county 30 in sun prairie and also cottage grove 29 right now in stoughton first warm forecast even though the fog will lift this morning we'll still look at a mostly cloudy sky today 52 tomorrow with Rain showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm in the afternoon. Upper 40s Friday will be breezy. That will bring us some cooler weather for the weekend, but still dry into much of next week. With four series left in the regular season, the Wisconsin men's hockey team is sitting in second place in the Big Ten standings, five points behind Michigan State, making that final series a massive one when the Spartans come to town. But that's in March. There's still work to be done before then, starting this week with Notre Dame. And while it is fun to peek at where they are sitting, standings don't drive the Badgers. Obviously, like, we want to win the regular season in the Big Ten, so, but that doesn't change like how we're going to play. Like every, We want to win every game, so it's just something we can look at once in a while, but nothing to... Uh, too crazy to focus on. The standings will be with what they are. We want to have that last weekend make a difference. Uh, hopefully it's for a championship. I'm going to guarantee you it's going to be for playoff seating. Uh, that'll get here soon enough. We've got to crush our Tuesday. Staying on the ice, Kyle McClellan has been named the Big Ten's second star of the week for his performance between the pipes against Minnesota. The Badger net miner recorded a season high 42 saves in UW shootout win over the Gophers. The star is his fourth of the year. Sunday is a big one for the Wisconsin wrestling team. Chris Bono and the Badgers will honor six seniors before their match against the Illini. And senior day always comes with emotion, something that their head coach wants the seniors to have during their moment before the duel and their moment on the mat for the final time at the field house. We celebrate them before the match. Be in the moment, enjoy it. Don't even think about wrestling. But then as soon as we, we get back in that tunnel, you got to flip the switch, and uh, it's got to be all about those seven minutes you're going to go put on the mat. Uh, and, then, and then when that's over, you can flip the switch and go take the pictures and just, just be in the moment. This is the last time in the field house, but it's not the last time you put that W on your chest. So uh, well, don't, 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 uh, don't get too wrapped up in it, but enjoy it when the moment comes. High school boys hoops, top two teams in the Big 8 going at it in a crosstown showdown between Sun Prairie East and Sun Prairie West. Cardinals flew out of the gates. Gavin Van Wee dials one up from deep and East, led by as many as 15 in this one. But the Wolves would storm back. Chris Davis Jr. splashes home the three ball. 
And then on the next trip down the floor, it's Davis Jr. again with a little step back, Jack. He scored 26 as Sun Prairie West wins a wild one. 76-73, the final. Huge game in the Six Rivers East. Albany Monticello hosting Argyle and Pecatonica in a battle of the conference's top two teams. First half, AP working it down low to Brooke Wilnitz, and she gets the bucket to fall. Argyle Pecatonica led by four at the break. Second half, the home team responds. Abby Hollis from way out. She drops in the triple and finished with a game-high 16, but it wouldn't be enough. Kylie Butler shows off her handles on the way to the cup. Butler dropped in 15, and Argyle Pecatonica gets the win, 50-41. to 41. And that's it for morning sports. Have a great day. Thank you, Zach. You too. Still ahead, a new streaming service is on the way. How this could impact the way you watch sports. And as we head to break, a look at gas prices here in Wisconsin compared to the national average. We'll be right back. team takes you beyond the barometer only on news 3 now high V hot deals are burning hot fresh ground beef just 268 for a one pound roll buy two get two free on select Pepsi products and avocados two for just a dollar only at high V Spectrum Internet delivers with fast and reliable speeds nationwide so there's never been a better time to switch to Spectrum now get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi and a Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line free for 12 months. Visit Spectrum.com or call 844-242-1479. Spectrum Internet offers speed and reliability, while advanced Wi-Fi gives you best-in-class security and privacy for all your connected devices. And Spectrum Mobile delivers unlimited talk, text, and data with nationwide 5G included. Switch now and get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 with advanced Wi-Fi and one line of Spectrum Mobile Unlimited free for 12 months. Start saving today. Go to Spectrum.com, a Spectrum store, call 844-242-1479 or scan the call now. There's a reason big dental bills often come as a shock because sometimes you don't realize what's not covered until you get the bill. That's why affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual is important. It can give you benefits that go beyond what you get from more limited coverage plans. Because no one likes a big dental bill, especially if you're retired or on a fixed income. For a free information kit, call or go online now. This isn't some discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps cover over 350 procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures at any dentist you want. Dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company helps cover preventive care, basic work, and major procedures with no deductibles and no annual maximum. For your free information kit with all the details, call now or visit sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Day, one day only. Earn a 40 cent High V fuel saver for every $60 you spend. That's a 40 cent fuel saver for every $60. Thursday only and only at High V. Welcome back. Let's take a peek at Mark's morning, a beautiful mm. oak savanna under the sun. As you would say, that is a stunner right there. She's a beaut, Clark. That, <laughs> that's a very nice picture. You know, I was just messaging my friends yesterday and was like, it's crazy the impact that it has on me, for sure. I'm sure a, so yeah. many other people can agree. But, like, the sun being out past 4.30 p.m. I mean, we have to go to sleep pretty early, but 
Oh my gosh, I just ran to grab some food yesterday. The sun was still out at like 4.30. It's like, it's crazy the impact that that has on like your mental health, the way you feel. It's just, it's nice to have that sun still out there. And, you know, I know the, the some folks want some more snow and that kind of thing, but I will take advantage of the sun while we have it. Certainly not complaining, that's for sure. Yeah. Hey, Mark, thanks for giving us a peek of the sun. We love it. Make sure you use the hashtag MyNews3Morning when you post your pictures. We love to share them here on the program. All right, time for the trending story of the day. Three of the biggest broadcasters in sports are teaming up with a new streaming service. Disney's ESPN, Fox Corporation, and Warner Brothers Discovery made this announcement yesterday. The companies will create a super platform that will house their sports assets under a single streaming roof. It will offer consumers access to a host of sporting events including the NFL, NBA, MLB, NHL, golf, FIFA World Cup games and so much more. The new service will launch in the fall. No word yet on what it will be named or how much a subscription will cost. You know, we were just talking um, off air about how, you know, we've got all these different apps. We've got to watch this thing here and watch this thing there. Um, hopefully this merge will make things a little more efficient for people. You know, there's a Badger game that was on Peacock mm -hmm. during the football season, and I was so annoyed. Okay, I got to go find Peacock and mm -hmm. download that. And then Peacock hosted another massive the, game. An NFL playoff game. Yeah. Yep, exclusively on Peacock. They're just all over the yeah. place on these streaming services. I would love it if there was one place mm -hmm. for me to go to watch my Badgers, watch my sports. Yeah, I don't think it'll ever get to that because of how pivotal and TV rights are in yeah. sports, but it's interesting to see some of these competitions uh, come together for one product. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. We'll keep an eye on it. All right, folks, stay with us. We've got plenty more news and weather for you, including an update on some breaking news. We'll get to that in just a few. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular's network free for 30 days? Here we go. Hey, I wonder if U.S. Cellular lets me stream in my... Rec Room. Yep, it's working. Test drive U.S. Cellular's award-winning network free for 30 days. Want to instantly look more attractive, years younger, and even healthier? The solution is whiter teeth. Even teeth that are just a little yellow are a problem. They rob your appearance, make you look older, and can hurt your confidence. But you love coffee and tea, maybe even wine or smoking, and all of them stain your teeth and make them yellow. It's time you discovered Power Swabs, the fast five-minute revolutionary treatment. The first time I tried it, I was so surprised. My husband was so excited that he wanted to run out and get it. He said, what have you been trying? I said, well, I've tried this product called Power Swab. And he said, I can't believe how white your teeth are. So from that point on, I've been sold. My absolute favorite thing was how easy it was. It takes literally less than five minutes. Power Swabs has made a really big difference in lifting the stains and making my smile more beautiful. Power Swabs are guaranteed to whiten your teeth up to two shades after the first application and after five-minute daily treatments for the next week, your teeth will be an average of six shades whiter. Plus, unlike other whitening methods, power swabs will whiten natural teeth and remove stains from veneers, bonding, caps, and crowns. Power swabs are easier on your gums and cause less sensitivity. I've used strips and trays, and they both gave me really sensitive teeth. With the power swabs, I've been using them for a week and nothing. I had hot coffee this morning and ice cream last night and no problems. <laughs> it's time to discover what you've been missing. Now, it's your turn to get started with power swabs. I like my smile. I like my smile after finishing the power swabs. This is a power swab smile. This is a power swab smile. This is a power swab smile. Call, go online, or scan the code on your screen right now to receive 50% off this Valentine's Day. You'll also receive the Power Swabs Stain Out Quick Stick absolutely free. And in addition, you will also get free shipping. Order right now and take the Power Swabs 5-Minute Challenge. If your teeth aren't a full two shades wider after your first application, simply return it and you'll get your money back. Pick and Save always gives you more ways to save on top of our lower than low prices. And when you download the Pick and Save app, you can enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons and earn fuel points to save up to a dollar per gallon at the pump. 
With a Boost membership, you'll save even more with double fuel points and free delivery. Discover more ways to save big every day. Pick and save fresh for everyone. Today, we seize the day. Because at U.S. Cellular, you can get an epic Samsung Galaxy S24 with Galaxy AI. Even me? Look under your chair. That's right. Get the Samsung Galaxy S24 on us. U.S. Cellular. This morning, alternatives to the bus as Madison Metro continues to change. They're sharing other ways to get around the city. Plus, a new policy on doorbell video could change policing. How it'll impact local law enforcement. And we're another morning with some uh, thick fog across the area. Visibility is getting reduced. Mild weather continues, and we're also tracking some rain showers tomorrow. More coming up. Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Leah Lynchine. And I'm Shane Hogan. Chris has the day off today. This is a camera uh, in Platteville right now. The fog is a main topic of the morning. You can see it there. Wow. We were showing the Capitol earlier this morning. Could barely see it behind the fog. My drive in was certainly foggy. Uh, some places looking a little better than others. Certainly, though, you can expect some of it on your commute. Kelly Slifka is keeping an eye on it for us this morning. Hi, Kelly. Yeah, that's been the issue this morning. Actually, the fog occasionally gets a little bit better, then it gets worse, uh, and then it gets a little bit better. So we've had a little bit of a wind kind of blowing the fog around. But right now, this is our Edgewater Sky Cam looking at the Capitol. Can't even see the Capitol, just some of the buildings on the surface there with some of the lights on this morning. Officially at the airport, a mile and three quarters. Of course, the southern parts of Dane County might be a little bit less than that. Half mile in Janesville, Monroe over to Mineral Point. Once you get northwest uh, toward the Wisconsin River Valley, the Salk City area, the Dells, uh, visibility is much better. Not too much of an issue if you're headed northwest of the Dells. But dense fog advisory for all of southern Wisconsin, uh, south and east of the Wisconsin River Valley does not include Grant County, but we were showing you that that's a sky cam there showing some thick fog in Platteville as well this morning, at least in southern parts of the county. All right, we do have the uh, fog this morning. Temperatures after the fog lifts still going to get in the mid 40s, even though we will see a mostly cloudy sky potential of getting in the 50s tomorrow. And that's going to come in with some winds out of the southwest and also a storm system that will bring us rain showers. We're going to be on the warm side of it. That's why we're expecting just rain showers tomorrow. Temperatures today in the 30s, the fog lifting to some low clouds. And unlike yesterday, I don't expect the sun to break through, so it will be mostly cloudy. Still expected mid-40s, upper 40s, maybe getting closer to 50 along the Wisconsin River Valley. But headed off to the bus stop this morning, some of that fog, at least in some areas, fairly thick this morning. Just some low clouds later this morning and mostly cloudy skies this afternoon. Mid-40s today should be dry today, but we're tracking those rain showers tomorrow. More coming up. All right, Kelly, thank you. Well, problems continue for passengers that use the Madison Metro system. It's because of the continuing redesign of the bus routes. Those changes aren't going to stop anytime soon. There are more on the way. But this morning, the city is trying to make sure people know about alternatives. So maybe riders don't even have to take the bus. Many of these alternatives have been around for a while, but Metro says not enough people know that they're available. Just kind of easier to have a have a face in the conversation and you can get some real in depth training in person as opposed to maybe it's not as easy to do over the phone. Some of these alternatives include B cycles around the city and a system that allows people to take uh, ride shares if you have a disability. If you'd like to learn more about these alternatives, Metro has a number of informational sessions scheduled. The next one is happening tomorrow at 10 a.m. at Central Library. You can find a full list at the Madison Public Library website. We do have some breaking news into the newsroom in the last hour. In Janesville, two teens are under arrest for an armed robbery in broad daylight. Happened yesterday at 1030 in the morning. Police say a woman was walking her dog when two teenagers walked up to her, both holding handguns, and demanded did she hand over her stuff? The woman was able to get the license plate of the car as they drove off. Police saw the vehicle hours later, and after a chase, they arrested 17-year-old Ishmael Gill and another 15-year-old. Turns out the vehicle itself was stolen, too. Both are facing a number of charges. Now to an update in the case of a deadly shooting on Madison's east side back in July of last year. A Dane County judge is refusing to lower the bond for one of the two men accused in the shooting outside of Harmony Apartments. Mark Parks Jr. asked to have his $1 million bond lowered to $10,000 with GPS monitoring. He is facing several charges, including first-degree intentional homicide as a party to a crime, he will appear in court later this month on February 20th for a preliminary hearing. Meanwhile, Madison police say they have a man under arrest for beating an elderly person. 
This happened Saturday morning at the intersection of Wisconsin Avenue and West Mifflin Street downtown. A man told police he was walking to the pharmacy when a stranger started hitting and kicking him. That stranger ran off after a witness intervened. Police were able to find 36-year-old Joshua Birkin a little while later at the Madison East Shopping Center. Birkin now faces charges of battery to an elderly person and resisting arrest. In court yesterday, not guilty pleas were entered on his behalf. A cash bond of $500 was also set. It's 634. Amazon-owned company Ring will stop allowing law enforcement agencies to request doorbell camera footage from users through its neighbor's app. A spokesperson with the Dane County Sheriff's Office says the door isn't entirely closed on their ability to use that footage, though. They say the process to get the video expands beyond that neighbor's app. We're doing an investigation as to canvas a neighborhood to go door to door, talk to people, because not only are we going to find out from that if they have video, for instance, from a ring doorbell, but we're also going to find out if they saw something themselves that they would like to be able to share. Law enforcement agencies can still access uh, ring camera video if they do have a search warrant. Black History Month is underway right now, and Wisconsin's Legislative Black Caucus has events throughout the month to celebrate the occasion. You and your family can take part in blood drives, a youth legislative day, movie viewings, a mental health resource fair, and more. Through these events, the Black Caucus also hopes to introduce black youth to careers and industries they might not know about, like climate issues. One of the events is an environmental justice symposium. Um, it's important that we are engaging young black folks um, in these critical conversations. And as we think about the opportunities to build uh, a realistic green career pipeline, it's gonna be important that black young people are engaged in that process. The events run from February 12th through the 29th. It's 6.36 on your Wednesday. Coming up after the break, a piece of Wisconsin in Las Vegas. Pitch out, find out which player is bringing some of our state into Super Bowl 58. And we continue with some fog across the area this morning. It's going to remain mild before some rain showers move in tomorrow. We'll have the first morning forecast coming up. Plus, we're live in the 608 this morning looking ahead to the UW Winter Carnival. We're going to talk about some of the changes and what you might see new this year after the break. Ashley's President's Day Sale starts now. Get up to 10 Benjamins in savings without a single Washington down. And save $700 instantly on this 6B sectional. Plus, five years special financing with low monthly payments only at Ashley. News 3 Now and Vortex present Spirit of Service, honoring those who've made a real difference in our community. Do you know a veteran whose actions have been a positive force in the area? If so, nominate them for the Spirit of Service Award. Log on to channel3000.com, nominate a veteran, and tell us why they're a pillar in our community. A winner will be selected on March 11th. Help us celebrate our hometown heroes. The Spirit of Service Award, presented by Vortex. Can your roof handle our Wisconsin winters? If you're tired of repairing leaks and replacing shingles after each storm, call us, the metal experts at Sweeta Metal Roofing. Sweeta Metal Roofing, the last roof you'll ever need. Your logo can identify your company, inspire your customers, and energize your team. We're 4imprint, and we can help your logo create moments that matter. Explore thousands of promotional products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint, for certain. It's a robotic money expert. Clever. How do I start a savings habit? Famous cabbage. Savings habit. Shaving rabbits. Tech can make life simpler, but when it comes to savings habits, nothing's as simple as BMO. A BMO savings account helps you build the habit with a cash reward every month you save. Cash reward? Ingenious. Sardine fest. This year's top prize goes to BMO. I'm just in it for the saving. But it's nice to be recognized. BMO. Want big fitness energy without a big investment? Join Planet Fitness. Now through February 16th, save big during the Big Fitness Energy Sale when you join for just $1 down, $10 a month. Cancel any time. That's right, we've dropped our enrollment fee to just $1, so it's easy to get in and get energized. Never intimidating. Always free fitness training. Equipment for every workout. Don't miss out. Join today for just $1 down, $10 a month. Cancel any time. Hurry, deal ends Friday, February 16th. 
Ashley's biggest President's Day sale starts now. Get the best mattress deals ever while they last. Save up to $1,100 on adjustable mattress sets, plus five-year special financing with no money down. Don't miss it. Only at Ashley. Thursday at 10. It was bug infested, black mold everywhere. Then mice got really, really bad. Former residents speak out about the unsafe conditions in a local sober living home. You're supposed to care about people's sobriety and make sure they're safe and they're clean. I'm finding out how transition homes are monitored and what some say the state needs to do to prevent more problems. Not having some regulation um, could be a disaster. News 3 Now investigates Thursday at 10. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Welcome back. The Las Vegas Strip is alight with excitement for the Super Bowl this weekend. Travelers from America and beyond are flooding the city in anticipation for the weekend's festivities. That's right, and they won't be lacking for a choice when it comes to their entertainment this week. Jared Hill is in Las Vegas to show us some of the once-in-a-lifetime experiences ready for visitors to enjoy. Celebrating the Super Bowl has become so much bigger than the game itself. Of the half a million people expected to flood Vegas this week, only a small percentage will actually go to the game. But visitors can still be part of the action. This is our fan event that's really meant for fans who don't have tickets to the game to really feel like they're part of the Super Bowl environment. The Super Bowl experience offers photo ops with the Lombardi Trophy, a field to run drills and access to NFL stars. Micah Parsons is going to be here. Eli Manning is going to be here. Jerry Rice is going to be here. Getting some autographs. Just up the strip, Paramount has transformed the famous volcano at the Mirage Hotel into Paramount Expedition Vegas. The theme park takes fans to new heights, showcasing 10 of Paramount's most popular shows and movies, like Ghosts, Survivor, and the upcoming biopic, Bob Marley, One Love. This virtual gondola ride on Paramount Mountain is exactly what this is about, immersing visitors and everything that is Super Bowl 58 and everything that's Paramount. That people really do want to um, experience what, th what their show is or sort of what they're a fan of, and everybody has their social media. It took months to build a ski lodge in the desert. Now, Paramount Expedition Vegas is getting ready to welcome fans with an unforgettable experience on a mountain of entertainment. Jared Hill. CBS News, Las Vegas. Gosh, I would do anything to be there. I know you would. It's expensive, though. Pricey, oh, yeah. pricey. Vegas, the Super Bowl, man, there's everything there right now. But, you know, the Packers won't be there. We know this. But Wisconsin will still have their own representative playing in the big game. Oh, yeah. Former Badger and Grantsburg native Leo Chanel is playing in his second Super Bowl with the Kansas City Chiefs. Chanel played for the Badgers for three seasons from 2019 to 21. He left before his senior year and was drafted by the Chiefs in the third round. As a rookie, he made it to the mountaintop, winning the Super Bowl. Here he is after the win last year. It's a blessing. Like that, That's all you can really say. It's a blessing. A lot of guys go through it and not get one, and we did it, man. We did it. How I exciting mean, for him. Yeah, I mean, of course, in your rookie year, winning the Super Bowl, now a chance to go back-to-back. Chanel and the Chiefs take on the San Francisco 49ers in Super Bowl 58 on Sunday. Kickoff at 530. You can watch it right here on News 3. Cannot wait, cannot wait, cannot wait. So this is giving me a reason to watch. I don't necessarily have a horse in the game for mm -hmm. the Chiefs or the 49ers, but I'm a diehard Badger. So now I'm excited. Yeah. Rooting for the Chiefs. A little extra juice in there. Yeah. Excited for Usher? Sure. Oh. Sure. We're going to talk more about Usher throughout the, the week. Country. It, you know that. I mean, who didn't grow up on Usher? Yeah, Absolutely I mean. Absolutely excited. It'll be exciting to watch for sure. All right. It's 642. Kelly Slifka has your first worn weather and some fog out there this morning, Kelly. Yeah, we have the uh, fog again this morning. It's been variable. Sometimes it's uh, fairly thick and then eventually it gets a little bit better and kind of gets thick. So that's what you're going to probably have to deal with this morning. If you are going to be commuting, the mild temperatures continue. We've had the a problem with this fog in the morning, it gradually lifts. And today it's expected to lift, but still with the uh, clouds uh, lingering even into the afternoon, I think we'll get in the mid 40s. Could be talking about 50s tomorrow. That's out ahead of a storm system. We're going to be the warm side of it tomorrow, tomorrow night. We'll look at the winds picking up out of the south, bringing our temperatures in the lower 50s tomorrow, getting close to some records, which the record high tomorrow is 55. This weekend, though, behind this system, it will turn a little bit cooler, just not as mild. 
Still have some of the uh, fog here in Platteville. Our Queen Bee Radio Sky Cam showing the, the lights a little bit hazy there. Here in Madison, yeah, it looks thick, uh, especially when you're looking from the tower, which is way up there, uh, several hundred feet. 46 expected today. That's way above our average of 29. The sun will be up here at 7.06, so coming out fairly soon. You can actually see that it's starting to get a little bit lighter out here this morning. All right, the uh, fog thickest down to the south in Monroe, down to a quarter of a mile, half mile in Janesville. Once you get northwest of the Wisconsin River Valley, not too much of an issue, but even in the min Mineral Point, you are seeing that visibility down to a half mile. That's why we have the dense fog advisory for southeastern Wisconsin, in effect, until 10 o'clock this morning. So we'll look at the uh, fog lifting to some low clouds, a mostly cloudy sky throughout the morning into the afternoon hours. We're not going to have the benefit of the uh, sun like we did yesterday, but still likely to hit the low to mid 40s because we will see a southerly wind pick up closer to 10 miles per hour. Then we have to deal with the uh, storm system coming in tomorrow. Looking at some showers to develop tomorrow morning. May get a break in the afternoon. The uh, second round run rides uh, through the area going into the evening hours and may actually have a thunderstorm rolling on through. Then after midnight, everything moves on to the east and we'll get into some drier uh, winds uh, out of the west by Friday. That should give us some dry conditions by Friday. All right, this was some horror frost that uh, Denise got in Cambridge. This was obviously during our deep freeze and when we had all the snow on the ground. A uh, possible ability of seeing some of that hoar frost this morning, especially where temperatures are below freezing. Uh, 30 right now in Madison, 32 in Janesville, 32 in Lone Rock, and also the Dells, 29 in Watertown. Across Dane County, it's 32 in Sauk City, 30 in Sun Prairie, Cottage Grove, and also Rockdale. 46 today after the fog this morning, just kind of a cloudy gray sky this afternoon. Only getting down to 39 tonight, 52 tomorrow with the chance of rain, mainly in the morning, then another shot during the evening hours, maybe a thunderstorm rolling through. A dry day Friday turns breezy with the winds picking up out of the west and we'll be in the 30s this weekend. Dry weather much of next week and here we are headed in the middle of February. Kelly, a thunderstorm in the middle of February. February. We'll take it. Never know what we're going to get. That's true. All right, quarter to seven. We're in the 608 this morning looking into the UW Winter Carnival happening this week. That's right. Our Josh Spryder is live in Madison with a look at this year's event. Good morning, Josh. Good morning, guys. Winter carnival, more like spring carnival with those temperatures Kelly's talking about this morning. And with that, of course, we've been talking about a lot of changes with these winter festivals the last couple of weeks. And of course, right here for the UW Winter Carnival, same thing. They are going full steam ahead, but things will look a little bit different this weekend. Kira Obert is with the union this morning. Kara, good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. So let's talk a little bit about some changes this weekend because yeah. you guys had to kind of change things up a little bit, mm -hmm. but you still are planning a full thing of events this weekend. Yes, we are. It's been a dynamic planning season, but I'm really excited for some of the events that have remained the same and some new ones that we've added. Um, as the warmer temps have come in. So UW Winter Carnival, this is such a, a staple for yeah. the university. Yeah, and one of our most iconic events I think most people would know us from is putting the head of Lady Liberty on Lake Mendota. But since it's warmer this year, we are going to put Lady Liberty on Library Mall, which is the lawn in front of the Memorial Union. But I'm actually excited for how accessible she will be to the public this weekend. And with the weather being a little bit milder, it yeah. might actually be more people coming out. Yeah, you know, that's what we would be hoping that, you know, it's going to be warm and sunny. So although maybe it's not as wintry as we'd hope, there's going to be a lot of fun things to do outside. Like on Saturday, we're going to be playing big yard games and there's even going to be curling out on the terrace. You know, we're used to it here in Wisconsin, yeah. right? Kind of rolling with the punches. Exactly. And you guys are always trying to find new things for folks to do anyways. Right, yeah. You know, what uh, sort of events are you most looking forward to this weekend? I'm most looking forward to those yard games and that curling as I was talking about, but also inside we're going to be making Valentine's Day crafts and decorations. So whether, you know, it's nice enough to be hanging out outside or if you want to take a break inside, there's really just a little bit of everything. And it doesn't matter the season here. That's what right. I love with the union. There's always something new for people to try. Exactly. You know, what's the best way for people to get involved with some of these events? To get involved, if you go to our website, which will be union.wisc.edu slash winter carnival, there's the full list of all events that will be happening on the whole weekend. Wonderful. Well, Kara yeah. Ober, thank you so much. Appreciate yeah, your time you. this morning. Thanks. Again, if you'd like to learn more about this year's winter carnival, you can go to the story up on channel3000.com. Looking a little different here, guys, but we're used to it here in Wisconsin. We always go full steam ahead, even if that means some changes here. But it's going to be a fun weekend to be able to get out and about and get out of the house because of how nice and mild the temperatures are so we can use that as a little positive energy too. Hmm. Yeah that's what I was saying earlier right like even though yes it might have a little effect on the events but getting outside is what it's about Josh.
That's what it is, and I love how we have access to that right exactly. here in the capital mm -hmm. city. No matter what we're doing, so we can't be out on Lake Mendota, that's okay. We can go to Lady Liberty and actually have Lady Liberty on land. That's gonna be a little <laughs> different for folks. So some new pictures for people to take and some new experiences. I was yeah. gonna say, I'm there for the Instagram picture with, <laughs> with Lady Liberty, you better yeah, believe it. That's fun, enjoy it. All right, Josh, thank you so much. Hey, remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. There's his social media handle. You can find him on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. You can also shoot him an email. It's in the 608 at WISCTV.com. Okay, it's 649 on your Wednesday. Coming up in the morning sprint, voting for literally anybody else. Why, quote, none of these candidates was the winner on yesterday's GOP primary ballot. We're back right after this. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Flex Steel is furniture that comforts, furniture for living, furniture with a heart of steel. Save big during our Flex Steel authorized sale, going on now at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Cobison Buses, now hiring. I'm Dina Noland. I drive for Cobison Buses. Working with Cobison, it's definitely been great because of the flexibility. First day of school for my son. The fact that I get to bring him there and I can just park my bus right on the side and walk in, they don't, they don't mind that. They want you to be there for your family. I've always enjoyed working with kids. The opportunity to transport them in a bus, I enjoy doing it. Visit Cobison.com to apply. Come on, Michael, come on. Catch the ball! Huddle up! Do you need to get your eyes checked? Well, actually, here's the play. Stanton Optical makes glasses in 30 minutes. It's easy on three. One, two, three. Easy. easy. Hut. Hut. Come on, Michael, you got this. Come on, come on, turn. Michael, catch. I can see. You did it. I did it. 30 minute glasses? Now that's an easy play. Stanton Optical. Easy's our thing. A logo can do more than identify your company. It can connect in meaningful ways, energize your team, and inspire your customers. We're for Imprint, and we know your logo on the right product can create moments that matter. With 30 years of experience and thousands of products to choose from, we guarantee your order will be right the first time, on time, and for a great price. Be certain that the right moments will matter. Explore thousands of promotional products at forimprint.com. For Imprint, for certain. Now's the time for a new Leisure Concepts hot tub, so check out this amazing special purchase. This six by seven foot hot tub seats four adults beautifully, has a powerful three horse jet pump, LED lights, 24 stainless steel jets, and a thick winterproof cover. The best part, right now it's just $59.95. And that includes delivery and training. Just $59.95 for all this. Get to Leisure Concepts ASAP and get yours delivered now. If you have Medicare and Medicaid, iCare's dual eligible special needs plans help you get both care and coverage. Benefits include $1,800 per year to pay for eligible groceries and over-the-counter items. Whatever you don't spend carries over each month. Receive a $4,000 a year dental allowance and pay nothing for covered prescriptions all year long, even the brand name ones. Call us today and a licensed sales agent will help you find out if you're eligible. Rest easy. iCare is looking out for you and your health. Flex Steel is furniture that comforts, furniture for living, furniture with a heart of steel. Save big during our Flex Steel authorized sale, going on now at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Watch News 3 Now at 6 with Eric, Charlotte, Gary, and Zach, weeknights. 6.52, time for the morning sprint. Breaking this morning, two teenagers in Janesville are under arrest for an armed robbery. This happened yesterday at 10.30 in the morning. Police say a woman was walking her dog when two teenagers with handguns demanded she hand over her stuff. Police arrested 17-year-old Ishmael Gill and a 15-year-old after a chase. Both are looking at multiple charges. In national news, Nevada primary voters say they want, quote, none of these candidates to be the front runner for the GOP. That was the response on the ballot at the polls yesterday. The only other option was Nikki Haley. The move suggests they want former President Trump, who wasn't on the ballot. He'll instead participate in Nevada's caucus, not the primary, which awards all the delegates. And a federal appeals court has ruled the former President Donald Trump is not immune from prosecution for alleged crimes he committed to reverse the 2020 election. 
Trump has argued he had presidential immunity and his conduct to overturn the election fell within his official duties. He has pleaded not guilty to four counts. The GOP majority in the House of Representatives failing to impeach the Secretary of Homeland Security, Alejandro Mayorkas. It only took four Republicans, including Green Bay Representative Mike Gallagher, to sway the vote in Democrats' favor. The White House called the impeachment claims baseless. Wisconsin Attorney General Josh Call is joining a coalition of 23 other states to appeal a decision that would end the DACA program. DACA allows nearly 6,000 Wisconsinites to live and work in the state without the threat of being separated from their families. The case is currently under appeal in the Fifth Circuit Court. The company behind Ring doorbell cameras will no longer allow police to use their neighbor's app to get video from their cameras. That doesn't mean police will never be able to use the footage again. They can still get it with a valid warrant. The company itself can access videos without reporting to users. And an update now to a deadly east side shooting from July of last year. A Dane County judge is refusing to lower the bond of one of the men accused. Mark Parks Jr. is facing several charges for that shooting outside of the Harmony Apartments last year. He asked to lower his bond from $1 million down to $10,000 with GPS tracking. This was denied by the judge, and Parks Jr. will appeal on, appear in court on February 20th. The Glendale man who killed his mother in 2021 will spend the rest of his life in prison. Eric Way and his son, Philip Schmidt Way, were charged in 2022 for killing a Dodgeville woman by carbon monoxide poisoning. That woman was Way's mother, who reportedly agreed to sell the family farm that otherwise would have gone to her grandson. Schmidt Way wants a new trial. A sentencing hearing is set for March 5th. Madison Metro Transit will host a series of informational sessions about alternatives to the city's buses. Metro continues to face scheduling issues with its redesign, so they're trying to let people know about other options that are available. The first session is scheduled for tomorrow at 10 a.m. You can find the details on how to attend that session on our story on channel3000.com. Right, good morning, five minutes away from uh, seven o'clock as we are looking at some patchy, dense fog this morning. Most of this is south and east of the Wisconsin River. Once you get northwest of the Dells, uh, the uh, conditions do improve, but make sure you keep those headlights on even though the sun is coming up with the fog that uh, is still fairly thick, especially down on the south, also over, over toward Mineral Point, down to a half mile. Uh, fog should lift to some low clouds going into late morning hours, but we'll stick with mostly cloudy skies. Still gonna be mild with suddenly winds, temperatures in the mid 40s today. And we will see quite a few clouds around. A system moves in, brings us some rain showers tomorrow. High all the way up to a 52. Thanks, Kelly. Stay with us, folks. Another news and weather update in just about half an hour.